Archbishop of Siro Malabar Church, His Beatitude, Ma Raphael Tatil, the father and head of the church, is presenting the presidential address. Anjama, the major archiepiscopal assembly, Ulkadana Samelanathana Adhichamahikuna, Sabhayuda Talabinam Pidavu Maya, Abhivanya Major Archbishop Ma Raphael Tatil, Adhicha Prasangatinai, Namudaman Bill. Your Excellency, Most Reverend Leopoldo Gerelli, the Apostolic Nuncio of India in Nepal. Your Beatitude, Cardinal George Allen, the Major Archbishop Emeritus. Your Excellency, Bishop Mar Joseph Kallarangat, Bishop of Pali. Mr. George Kurian, the Central Minister, Honorable. Mar Gregorios Malangara Metropolitan of Jacobite, Syrian Orthodox Church, Father Joseph Tadatil, the General Coordinator of the Assembly, all the representatives and guests on the dais and the participants of the Assembly, I greet every one of you most cordially and fraternally we are gathered here at Alphonsian Pastoral Institute of Pali for the fifth major archiepiscopal assembly of the Sura Malabar Church. His Excellency Mar Joseph Kalarangat extended a warm and cordial welcome to all of us, being the bishop of the eparchy that hosts this fifth assembly of the church. Dear Bishop Joseph Kalarangat, I want to welcome you and thank you for the words of your great theological and ecclesiological insights which you shared in your welcome speech. <laughs> According to canon law, the major archiepiscopal assembly should be convened once every five years. After our church was elevated to major archiepiscopal status. In 1992, the first assembly took place in 1998. Subsequently, it was held in 2004, 2010, 2016. The fifth assembly is taking place in 2024 eight years after the previous one in 2016. The uncertainty that prevailed in the context of COVID pandemic was the reason for the delay in holding the assembly, which should have taken place in 2021. In the last major archiepiscopal assembly held in 2016 at Sahirde Engineering College, Kodagara, under the speeches of the a park of Irinyalakoda, the number of participants was 488. This time, this number is reduced 348, considering the practical aspects of conducting the assembly and to create a suitable atmosphere for presenting and consolidating everyone's ideas effectively. The Synod of Bishops decided to reduce the number of participants in the assembly, therefore. Accordingly, with the approval of the apostolic see, the amendment amended the particular law of the church on the participants of the major archiepiscopal assembly was promulgated through the a decree in 25 March 2024. Accordingly to, to this newly promulgated law, 348 members are participating this time, including 50 bishops, 108 priests, both eparchical and religious, 37 religious sisters, two religious in brotherhood, five deacons, and 146 lay persons, both male and female. The theme of the fifth major archipelago Episcopal Assembly is the mission 
and response of the Sri Malabar Church in response to the needs of the time based on these three topics. Based on these three topics will be discussed in the assembly. Renewal of faith formation, lay participation in evangelization, and empowering of the Sri Malabar community. These three topics are interrelated without leaving the faith in practical dimensions of one's own life. The proclamation of faith, which is nothing but evangelization, will not otherwise take place. The light of faith gives orientation and energy for evangelization. As the Christian faith is lived by men and women in a particular society, defined by time and space. The social dimensions of the life of the faithful necessarily affects the witnessing of faith and its proclamation. In this regard, the Christian faithful have every right and duty to organize themselves in accordance with the prevailing social systems. The success in this regard will naturally determine the fate of evangelization in all its implications this being the core discussion and deliberations. I invite each and every member to participate in the assembly with enthusiasm and commitment. We have with us His Beatitude, Cardinal George Alangeri, the Major Archbishop Emeritus. It was he who conducted the previous Major Archiepiscopal Assembly in 2016. The preparations for this assembly were started when his beatitude was the major archbishop. It is enriching that he is present amidst in this assembly. We are really blessed with the presence of Apostolic Nuncio, Archbishop Leopoldo Girelli. A Nuncio is an associate of the Bishop of Rome in exercising the mission of the superior shepherd of the church. Thus his mission is, is a deeply pastoral and ecclesiastical duty, not a secular nor political task. We experience in the presence of the Holy Father when we are with his associate. In this sense, we have the presence of the Holy Father, Pope Francis, who in his paternal solicitude continues to encourage and strengthen our church sui juris. Your Excellency, I thank you for your presence and thank you for helping us in many ways being the representative of the Holy Father. The presence of Sri George Gurian, Honorable Minister of State in the Ministry of Minority Affairs, Fisheries, Animal Husbandry and Dairying is a very encouraging I'm happy to say, as he himself testifies, that he is a practicing Catholic, hailing from this park itself. Sir, you are silent and effective interventions in the landslide hit areas of Wynard, trying hard to alleviate the pains of the calamity stricken people, and is a contemporary, mo is, is a contemporary model of being really a minister for the people. I thank you for your enriching, for enriching this occasion with your presence. His Grace, Ma Joseph Mar Gregorius, the Malangara Metropolitan of the Jacobite Syrian Orthodox Church, is a good friend of the Syrian Malabar Church. He is now interested with the administration of the whole Jacobite Church. The Syrian Malabar Church considers this relationship with her sister churches as something to be nurtured and promoted. Thank you, Your Grace, for your esteemed presence amidst us today. Dear participants of the assembly, I acknowledge the presence of each and every one of you. I know that every one of you deserves special mention on account of your merits. As time does not permit me to do that, I would like to tell you that your presence makes the assembly elegant, energetic, and graceful. Thank you for spending three days to think together 
for the church and with the church. I conclude my words quoting our Holy Father Pope Francis, his piece of advice to, part to the participants of the chapters of various institutes of religious life, which I think are relevant as we begin this assembly. Holy Father says, as you prepare for your meetings, then pray that the Lord will grant you the gift of simplicity, both as individuals and as part of the central process in which you will play a vital role. Strip yourselves of everything that is unnecessary or might hold you back from listening attentively and preserving harmony in your discernment. In this way, you will be able to interpret together and wisely the present moment to discern within it the signs of the times and to make the best decisions for the future. Thank you once again. Best wishes. May God bless you. Blood, why brushing?